Hello and welcome to my channel and if this is your first time joining us today, thank you for joining me. This is the home of all things BTCC where I will talk about all things about the British Touring Car Championship. It's been a little while since I've had uh, made a video on and uh, did one about four weeks ago uh, during the first weekend of the season at Thruxton. I said I was going to do another uh, weekend review after that. Did unfortunately do it and it is now race week again. So a bit pointless me doing a, a race review, uh, weekend review for Thruxton. But I thought there's a few points I wanted to pick up on going into this weekend's racing at Snetton. So I thought I would make a quick little video, or as quick as I can, uh, looking through a few of them. So we have a, a quick few uh, little driver changes. So that BTC uh, seat that we had Dan Hamish guest driving in uh, last week, uh, sorry, last weekend, uh, the previous race weekend at Thruxton, uh, is now taken by uh, Senna Proctor. Uh, I think that was someone who people maybe thought would probably be in the championship this season, if someone been the last few seasons, a race winner, maybe it was a bit of a surprise not to see him. Uh, so it's not a big surprise to see uh, BTC go with him. You know, it's kind of a, a driver, you know what you're kind of going to get from him. He's going to be pretty consistent in scoring points. And he should be able to challenge near the, near the front with that. So I don't think there's been a lot of talk about that really. But um, I think because I think it's kind of a driver people go fair enough. You know, we're used to him being in the championship. So we know what to expect from him and he will be a good driver in that. And we've also had uh, Jess Hawkins, who is guest driving just for this one weekend in place of Andy Neat. Obviously, a lot of talk about Andy Neat um, after the Thruxton weekend with the big crash, whether that was, you know, talk of his fault, you know, a lot of hate on social media, as unfortunately Andy does quite often get. Um, and I wonder whether this is a decision with the first week of the fans being back since 2019, whether just to take the fact that I'll take Andy Neat out percent any potential heat of fans being there, whether it's just Andy or it is the team decision as well. So he is not this weekend, but we'll see Jess Hawkins back in. Good to see her back. Of course, she uh, debuted in the BTCC as a one-off guest driver for PMR at Snetterton last season. So the track she knows for BTCC. Um, obviously, it'll be a new car for her though, but Focus is a really good car. So hopefully she will go well in that. I think it's the first time, I think it's the early, about 2001. It was the last time we had two females in a grid at all. I think it's about 1989 or something like that, since it was uh, in the main grid, not just a production class. So she will be having good competition with Jade, I'm sure of that. Obviously, hopefully with my uh, little prediction that every driver will score points. If this is her one and only drive this season, I will need her to pick up some points for me to keep on that prediction. But no, two good drivers there, and um, I think Jess coming in for what is at the moment one weekend to replace Andy Neat. I think she, as I said, I think she's got a good car, so she's got a good chance of uh, having a good weekend there. Uh, and hopefully she'll pick carry on. Obviously, it's the same track she uh, de uh, debuted at last season, so at least she's got a bit of experience in the BTCC car there. And as well as that, we've also got a. Uh, We've got Senna Proctor in at BTC and I think he will straight away, he should be pretty much straight on it. He's got a lot of front wheel drive experience in towing cars anyway. So we should be plenty enough, good enough at going at that. Although I didn't do a full review on Thruxton, I did want to touch on a few points. And the Hondas actually really surprised me. I wasn't sure how the Hondas would go, but they still look really, really good. I see Josh Cockcock straight out, straight out of the box. Looks like he could be challenging for the title this season. Uh, obviously, Dan Cowish did very well on the car as well. It is a shame that he won't still be in it again for uh, this weekend or the rest of the season. But he was commitments at Porsche. Whether he could have got the budget to stay at BTC, I'm not sure. But it does look like the uh, Hondas as a whole, because uh, Robot had a pretty good weekend as well. Unfortunately, she had another few incidents that wasn't so good. Uh, Ash Sutton certainly looks the fastest car uh, out there, I think, if it wasn't for. Errors or so other people, as he unfortunately got a contact with Tech in the first race, had a few uh, car problems. I think Sutton probably will run away with the championship this season once he gets up and going and doesn't have them kind of other issues. Uh, Jake Hill, obviously, has a championship leader going into this, who was pretty consistent with three third places. That's the way you've got to be sometimes. You know, he didn't uh, have to push himself too much, he just kept kept going where he was. That's how, like I said, with just coming into that four this weekend, that is a super strong car. A lot of power, good in a straight line. So to see Jacob there is not too much of a surprise for me. BMWs for me, both Sicily and the um, WSR cars weren't as good as I thought they would be. I know it's not, tech, it's more like traditionally Honda have always gone well there to be fair. You know, I said they didn't think they did too well season, so it's not a surprise so much the Honda were there, but it's not a 
uh, WSR or BMW, sorry, track. I would have expected them to do a little bit better, um, but maybe see what they'll do with Snetterton this weekend. And shout out to uh, Team Hart and the Coopers as well. They've now got more points this season than they did the whole of last season. Jack Goff himself has got more points than he got in the whole of last season and is uh, in the top 10 of the championship at a track that uh, when he had to deal with the wet conditions on, uh, in particular on Saturday, the last race was wet as well. Uh, and on a track never been on, it's a very difficult track technically, and uh, obviously the high speed. In fact, they went short on it's quite bumpy track as well. I'm not sure that how that suits for the Cooper, but to do that and then going into this weekend, the Snetterton where it should be really warm and hot. Uh, a track they've also tested the car at as well, and a track of course that Jack has uh, done very well in the past. Two race wins there, I think. Uh, too hard in their Coopers and in, and uh, especially Jack should uh, definitely be ones to watch there. It'll be uh, good to see uh, what Glenn can do as well once his car is fully repaired because that was heavy damage. By the looks of it, I haven't seen the actual picture yet, but by the sounds of it, uh, Team Hard have got that rebuild uh, completed now. And obviously, Taylor Smith got points uh, in at Druxton as well, so I'm sure he'll be battling up there as well. But that was just a quick uh, overview of uh, what I thought from Thruxton. Uh, what I'm going to do further on now is not do those quick weekend ones that I was trying to do that didn't go down too well, I don't think. So I'm going to go down to my full uh, reviews and um, going on to that. I'm going to get my notes and stuff like that ready for the next reviews. And we're going to go into too much detail, uh, kind of previewing. Uh, Snetterton, I said I wasn't going to do any previews pretty much this season anyway, but it's super difficult to really to call. First time we've seen the top 10 qualifying shootout and it also has uh, both compounds of, two compounds of tyre for the race weekend. So it'll be a mixed bag of more drivers, uh, like Hill, who've got full weight struggle in qualifying to get into that top 10. I do think, um, I, I said that my one to watch really is Jack Off. If that Cooper can be as good as it was maybe on media day, particularly around this track where Jack has a good record in the past, we could really see maybe Cooper get his at least first podium, or at least do, if he does well in qualifying, we'll see what else it gets. I think, I think it should do well in race one, race two, but if it, um, it should definitely do well in race three, if not, uh, Battling for podiums in one and two. I think if he'll maybe struggle in race one, if he struggles in qualifying, we'll be further down. Race two and three, I'm sure he'll come back through with the pace of that forward. I would expect uh, Texas does generally do pretty well here. It's something just looks, I think he looks unstoppable if he doesn't have incidents and problems with the car. I just think him and that Infinity are just too quick for anyone else. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, the Honda get on. In particular, Jeff Cook, who got those two wins, and Thruxton and Shedden, who is, uh, I'm not sure he's got even got any weight in the car, I don't think he does. Um, so with no weight, he should be pretty quick as well around Snetterton. It's a bit hard to preview it, because it's all up in the air, who knows, you know, we've got a lot to go on. It was a very mixed weekend at Thruxton, but like I did predict pre-season, that it was kind of, everyone has a chance. So we'll see uh, how it goes. I think the, the if the weight does affect the cars at Snetterton, then we'll see a lot of uh, other cars, a mixed grid. Um, but on my preseason predictions, I made those 10 predictions. Obviously, he lost two already. I said the same driver wouldn't win uh, two races in a weekend, and the driver wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have a team 1 2. As he lost that with uh, Jeff Cook winning two races and uh, BTC having a 1 2 in race 2. But I do feel uh, fairly confident in my other ones. Obviously, my other one that my struggle with for this weekend of Jess Hawkins is only in form race, so I really do need to at least uh, get a point. Uh, but from this, uh, let's look forward to the race weekend. And from this, I will do my full review of Snetterton, um, like I've done for previous, uh, previous last season racing. Sorry, um, I will do them after uh, this weekend and get back straight into it. But thank you for joining me for this quick little uh, update video uh, on me because I thought I'd get something out there for the race weekend because uh, I said I was going to do a weekend review and I didn't. I thought I would just quickly go on with this one. Look forward to the racing this weekend. I'll see I'll see England playing the football. First game of the Euros is Sunday. So I'll make the choice which one do I watch first. Uh, I think Tottenham Cars will be more exciting than watching England from their friendlies last a uh, couple of days. So let's look forward to the race weekend now. And I will see you after this weekend for my uh, Snetterton review. Thanks for watching.